Let's compare and contrast RGB with CMYK. These are two different ways of looking at color. An RGB image is made of red, green, and blue channels. You can see it's in RGB color mode. This is suitable for digital work on a monitor or printing with a digital device like an inkjet or laserjet printer. This is an additive color system. That means that when you add the primaries together, you get white. This works very well with light, shining directly in your eyes from a monitor, for example. On the other hand, there's CMYK. This represents color with cyan, magenta, yellow, and black color channels. Just like with the RGB image, each one of the channels is 8-bit. We can display the channels in color or not, it doesn't matter. Be aware that these are really just grayscale images that are composited together that end up looking like the color photo. In theory, if you added cyan, magenta, and yellow together, you would end up with black. That's because it, it is a subtractive color system. And it's more suitable to reflected light, for example, in a printed document. So professional printers tend to use CMYK, and they actually print separate plates, one for each channel. In practice, no ink is perfect, and when you add cyan, magenta, and yellow inks together, you usually end up with a muddy brown. And that's why the black channel was added, to boost the blacks and make it more perfect. Because there are four channels in a CMYK image, there's more information there. Going back to our powers of two, if you have four channels with eight bits per channel, you end up with a 32-bit image, and it takes more disk space to store it, because there's more information there. There are billions of different possibilities of color for each pixel.